You don't have to think this movie will be too much for you if no, you have mm-hmm. no idea about the classical world, because that's mm-hmm. also not what it's about. But you, I, in, in the contrary, I would say you start, you want to, like you say, I want to go and see it live. Tar is such a fascinating film. Um, and Sophie, I'm fascinated by the fact that uh, you are, this is like your on-screen film debut, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and you're a cellist in real life. So you're yeah. kind of like performing, but now for a screen, I mean, like, how did you prepare to take on this role? And what was that experience like? The fact is that um, I'm playing the cello as someone else. So that is quite a challenge in itself, in addition to which Todd is uh, a musician himself. So he kind of has a lot more understanding for that. But he also has a lot of ideas of his own. So he had very specific ideas as to how he actually wanted Olga to play. Not, I mean, I can't really comment on, you know, physicality because that's just what it is. But the actual music, he had very specific ideas as to how he wanted it to, you know, timing wise, it to be phrased and so on. So that was quite hard for me to kind of fit into a new character because it kind of goes against everything that you're always told to do, always told, you know, be true to yourself and your intentions and then it will be okay. But then you're like, well, what do you do if you have to play like someone else, right? (laughs) Um, But uh, we, um, one thing that surprised me was the time pressure. You know, I thought we'd have loads of rehearsals (laughs) and loads of takes at um, all the the scenes, but it wasn't like that at all. And Mm. Todd wanted the film to be super authentic. So all the playing you hear in the film is was live nothing's done in post Mm. so that in itself yeah it's Nina playing too she does an amazing job but like that in itself is kind of terrifying you have like a few just a few takes to get it right and um I guess um Kate was also conducting herself and playing Mm -hmm. um but so that obviously came with with challenges because in, although she does an amazing job, she's she's not been specialising as a musician for the vast majority of her life. If I may, because yeah. from an, from my point of view, when I watched you mm. in this moment when she plays the Elga like a, a solo piece, mm. and all these moments where I thought that might be you maybe in a few years time. Mm. So this this kind of, and you have that experience right now in character, but still it was an amazing combination of reality and and fiction mm. coming to, I, I saw also the excitement in her, oh. like privately, but also like uh, <laughs> as, as an actor, of course, yeah. being in the character and everything. But oh, yeah. it was a beautiful combination and anyway I have, I have to say this 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 whole experience of being for two weeks from for my part mm-hmm. within an orchestra and to really for the first time I I, I heard what it sounds like mm-hmm. the beauty of it the power uh, the the sound has and this that you all as individuals come together and create something in this moment that is of such beauty mm-hmm. was uh, was just phenomenal. Mm-hmm. So, so it was really everything that you experienced personally was also something that you could give to the character you were embodying. Yeah. You know? So that was, but that was of course amazing because you are a musician <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, and a beautiful, wonderful <laughs> actress now. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> It was great to see. Yeah, yeah, that is amazing. I definitely came away from the film being like, well, I need to watch orchestra live now because... No, no, this is it. This is <laughs> it. I feel thing. like this film, I've, uh, some of the early reviews talk about kind of the amazing music in the film. Mm-hmm. And lots of people think that everything in the film was just specially written for the soundtrack, but that's not the case at all. It's this beautiful mix of old and new compositions in that in itself kind of proves that if people don't let themselves be, I guess, blinded by their prejudices or ideas they have about classical music being inaccessible or difficult to understand and just, you know, let it, let it hit you. It's the whole purpose is we're meant to make, like actors, I guess, make you feel something right. and move you. Mm. And I, I mean, I know that obviously we're extremely specialised, but 
you know, it you don't have to understand every single chord to be able to enjoy it. And I'm no. really, really not at trying. all. No, I would exactly. say but you don't have to have studied yeah. anything. And mm. also, by the way, you don't have to think this movie will be too much for you if no, you have mm. no idea about the classical world because that's mm. also not what it's about. But you, I, in in the contrary, I would say you start. You want to, like you say, I want to go and see it live. Yeah. I want to, what is this beauty, uh, the, this world that t they're talking about and yeah. telling us about is so rich and fascinating. Um, so at least I hope that too, mm. that that's what's going to I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. And then just, you know, you both get to work with the incredible Kate Blanchett. Not that you are not also incredible, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, one of those names where you're like, oh my God, I'm working with Kate Blanchett. Just like I imagine the characters feel about Par about Lydia as yes. well. What is that experience like on set? It's just fascinating to be uh, acting alongside her because it's just so inspiring. And uh, the way I, when you were talking about her conducting, the way she put herself into that task mm -hmm. um, to find also, because we started with shooting um, all the scenes with the orchestra. And at the beginning, I think it was daunting for me and for, for Kate But at the end of the day, we both said that was actually great because it told us so much about who they are, mm -hmm. who is who, who Lydia is and how the way she conducts informs so much about everything we would work on later. And the way she found that character in these first two weeks, probably she had it already. But, you know, when you start working on it, it was just fascinating to see because she was on this pedestal for all of us mm -hmm. and we could kind of watch this transformation mm -hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. uh, it was incredible it's just mm -hmm. she's just a very very inspiring um actor she mm -hmm. just gives everything her all like you yeah. really have to especially as a conductor I can mm -hmm. imagine like I think it's really interesting that you said that it's good that you started off with the orchestra because then again you kind of take that with you for the rest of the exactly. performance exactly yeah. but yeah I think about conducting I'll just say something really quick it's amazing because you normally practice in silence right mm -hmm. and so then when you finally stand up in front of the orchestra and that sound comes back at you I just have no idea how she did it mm -hmm. because it's her conducting no mm -hmm. click track it's it's her orchestra's following her it's just wow. incredible how she yeah. managed to do it like to really Yeah, mm, that, is, that that is amazing. And you both were amazing as well. Um, yeah. I'm very excited for everyone to see the film and talk about uh, its many nuances. And of course, the <laughs> incredible music. Have a great oh, yeah. day, ladies. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs>